Okay, so this is the only poem I'm gonna do from memory. Actually, Brendan picked it for like a contest a bunch of years ago. Uh, it's an elegy for my ex-boyfriend who died of a drug overdose like three or four summers back. Uh, and it opens with an epigraph. Wait, oh, first it's in five sonnets. So I'll like let you know where they break based on <laughs> counting them that fingers. Thank you. <laughs> I was having a lot of trouble with that word. All right. Uh, <laughs> Fingers, cool. Um, and then, okay, and it, it begins with an epigraph from Robert Hayden. Let's make some noise for Robert Hayden. For everyone always. Um, and the epigraph is, I grieve yet know the vanity of grief. Mm. And just like that, the first boy I ever kissed is dead. Dress lifted off a mannequin to reveal nothing. Man who becomes just the empty space he's left. I've arranged his pictures around the bathroom sink and shaved my face in the dark, trying to make his shape appear now as it was then in my mirror. First boy I wanted who wanted me back. Taught I was worth such a simple thought as hunger, that lust could be a word used to describe my own Saturnine skin. What is dead will never rise from bread. What is owed can never be repaid. Instead, this debt I'm too small to shoulder. Maybe this is my hand's inheritance to hold. My grief, a pair of gloves, I reach into space, trace the ghost waistband, hear his voice gasp from the dark. You came in my mouth in a condom in a janitor's closet off my freshman dorm in college. <laughs> After I exalt Christ as a joke, Christ, I said, he gets small. Said Jesus was his personal Lord and Savior. Just my luck. <laughs> the first man I had in my mouth had the Lord in him. <laughs> Always a half step from salvation. Serotonin dissolves above a penitent tongue, a barrier when it would have been better with none. I could afford the flight to New York. I could afford the time off work. I could afford one night in a cheap motel. I could meet a man on my small device there. I could ask him to bring cocaine. I could call him your name and he'd bear it. I could be cheap with the man there. I could break up a line and he'd become you. But to sit in the long pew among your family, to be judged how I'm loved in that company, no, I think not. I could not bear it. Please tell me how am I supposed to go on knowing you are the official cause of death according to the autopsy report is an overdose dose from the greek diodane to give to overgive to give too much to give over veil in the skull lifting flooding the brain with blood cocaine though comes from the leaves of the coca plant dried brittle and beaten with lime same alkaline stuff used to quicken the decomposition of flesh next kerosene in a washing machine next bagged and shipped to a processing plant next stepped on so much it's almost a dance that pantheon of chemicals and severed hands, of gunshot wounds and drug mules carrying plastic in their human stomachs. He took all this inside him. Who wouldn't break him? Paragon of opportunity, him, beauty, with potential that stretched out metal and Pentecostal, blue rails till he was blue as a Eucharist, tachyrrhythmia, cerebral hemorrhaging, hyperthermia. I wonder what they found when they cut him open. Wings, I bet. I bet they found wings. <laughs>